For number 40, we have negative 12, m to the 8, n to the negative 6, all on top of 4, m to the negative 2, n to the negative 3. On this problem, we can still look at the numbers and get that negative 12 divided by 4 is a negative 3. So on the number part, we have a negative 3 in the numerator. With the m's, we can leave m to the 8th alone, and m to the negative 2, we can move it up and make it positive 2 in the numerator. On the n's, the negative 6 power means move this n down and make it positive 6. The negative power on this n in the bottom moves, carries the n up and makes that positive. So what we have is negative 3 in the numerator. For the m's, we're multiplying, and so we add the exponents, 8 plus 2 to get 10. And then with the n's, you have more n's down here in the bottom. And so you say 6 minus 3 to see how many extra n's you have down here in the bottom, and it's 3 extras. So we have a minus 3m10 on top of n to the third. And that is our final expression. The next problem, number 41, we have a giant number, 75 million. And we're supposed to write this in scientific notation. To write a number in scientific notation, you begin by going left to right, looking left to right, and deciding where the decimal needs to go. From left to right, after the first non-zero digit, that's where you want the decimal. So here's where we want the decimal. The decimal is at the end of a number. If it's not given to you, it's already at the end of the number. So what we want to do is rewrite 75 million as 7.5, and we don't write down the zeros, but we just say times 10, and we count where is the decimal and where do we want it to be. How many places is it displaced from where we want it to be from where it actually is? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's positive 7, because if you take 7.5 times 10 times 10 times 10 seven times, that's going to move the decimal from being behind the 7. It's going to move it seven places to the right, and that will make this big giant number of 75 million. So to write a number in scientific notation, your first number is between 1 and 10, and then it's always times 10 to a power. When your original number is like number 42, where we have this little teeny tiny number of 0 0.000256, then what we have to do to write this number in scientific notation is again, looking left to right, the first non-zero digit is after that is where we want the decimal. This is where the decimal is, so we count one, two, three, four decimal places. So we write our number in scientific notation by first writing down 2.56. We want the decimal to be after the first non-zero number. And then we want this to be times 10 and this time it's going to be to the times 10 to the negative fourth because that's the same as 2.56 divided by 10 to the fourth, which makes the number really small. Number 43. 
we're moving into polynomials and so we start with polynomial addition and when we add the trinomial 8x squared plus 2x minus 7 when we add on to that a negative 4x squared minus 5x minus 4 trinomial all we have to do when we add is we can take the parentheses off because the only thing in front of the parentheses is an addition sign so now all we have to do is work on which terms are alike and let's combine them up so 8x squared minus 4x squared is 4x squared whereas positive 2x minus 5x is minus 3x so x's and x's combine and stay x's and then the constant negative 4 added to the constant negative or excuse me negative 7 added to negative 4 makes a negative 11 and so this is the trinomial answer when we combine the like terms on this trinomial plus the second trinomial on 44 it's just a little bit more complicated 